Hi, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Thanks for joining me on TCM as we continue with tonight's slate of movies featuring a pair of the finest directors to work at Warner Brothers in the 1970s, 80s, and 90s. We just had two pictures directed by Clint Eastwood, including Unforgiven, the Best Picture and Best Director winner from 1992. Coming up, two from director Alan J. Pakula, who directed a Best Picture nominee for Warner Brothers in 1976, All the President's Men, which we had earlier this month. Pakula also picked up a nomination for Best Director for that film. Up next, from Warner Brothers in 1971, Pakula directs Jane Fonda and Donald Sutherland in Clute. Pakula broke through as a producer in Hollywood in the late 1950s before emerging as a highly respected director of suspenseful thrillers in the 70s. Clute was his first big critical success as a director. Sutherland plays the title character, a small-time private investigator, John Clute. As a favor to a friend, he comes to New York to look into the mysterious disappearance of a wealthy businessman. His investigation leads him to Fonda's character, Bree Daniels, an aspiring actress who pays her bills working as a call girl. No disrespect to Sutherland, who's excellent as he always is, but this is Jane Fonda's movie. She won the first of her two Best Actress Oscars for this performance. Bakula began his career more than two decades earlier. After studying drama at Yale and graduating in 1948, Bakula moved out to L.A., started working as an assistant in the cartoon department at Warner Brothers. In 1957, he began producing films with the baseball drama Fear Strikes Out, starring Anthony Perkins, marking the first of seven Pakula collaborations with director Robert Mulligan. They followed it up with their most significant picture together, the 1962 adaptation of Harper Lee's To Kill a Mockingbird with Gregory Peck. Pakula stepped into the director's chair at the end of the decade with a 1969 melodrama, The Sterile Cuckoo, starring Liza Minnelli. But it was his next picture, Clute, that established Pakula as a master of dramatic suspense. He went on to cement that reputation with two more landmark thrillers in the 70s, now known collectively as his Paranoia Trilogy, The Parallax View from 1974, then All the President's Men in 76. This one is from 1971, shot beautifully, creatively, and darkly by Gordon Willis, also with Charles Chioffi and Roy Scheider, Clute. Director Alan J. Pakula was known for coaxing Oscar-caliber performances out of his actors. His directorial debut, The Sterile Cuckoo, from 1969, scored an Oscar nomination for its leading lady, Liza Minnelli. Pakula directed Jason Robards to an Oscar win in All the President's Men from 1976, and his work with Meryl Streep earned her an Academy Award, her first in the Best Actress category, for Sophie's Choice from 1982. With Clute, under Pagula's direction, Jane Fonda won the Best Actress Oscar the first of her career. At the time, Fonda was heavily involved in anti-Vietnam War activism, and she knew the Oscar ceremony would put her on live television in front of viewers who would expect her to say something about the war. Unsure of how to use her platform and still respect the spirit of the evening, she turned to her father for advice. Henry Fonda suggested that she simply say, there's a lot to say, but I'm not going to say it tonight. That's essentially what Fonda did say when she accepted the award. Coming up, Jane Fonda and Alan Pakula team up again for a thriller from 1981 co-starring Chris Christopherson. Rollover is next on Turner Classic Movies.